Bar Stool Sports. Bar Titus. Brandon Walker. Mostly Sports. Welcome to Mostly Sports, presented by Jägermeister. I'm Mark Titus. He is Brandon Walker. Today is Wednesday, April 17th. We are live from Chicago, and we want to talk to you about our good friends at Jägermeister. Just a, just a guy tossing a ball around now? I'm just a guy is tossing that, a ball around, yeah. You're so whimsical over there. Yeah. You're just... I just need a ball. <laughs> ball I need. Hey. You know what I... Just sent us some new shot glasses. Oh. Bang. So when it's shot time on Friday, we got new shot glasses. Hell yeah. Thank you, Jägermeister. I'll tell you how I'm going to be taking those shots. Ice cold? Ice cold shots. Mm-hmm. Um, damn, that's Connor cold. and Ebo, if you want to do ice cold shots, damn, that's cold. Uh, I've introduced a new thing. Now they have to uh, they have to act through it. They have acting situations. So um, this time... What? <laughs> What? Oh, by the way, the show's different. Yeah, I have a lot of questions right, about show, what I missed. The, the, show's, the show you left is not the show you're coming back to. I apologize, but w- we've made some changes around. I was gone for less than a week. And Connor Griffin's also the biggest asshole in the world. Oh, my God. It's unbelievable. Let, right, let's, Connor, let's, let's finish the ad first. Connor, just yeah. say ice cold shots. Ice cold shots. Now, Ebo, you say, damn, that's cold. Damn, that's cold. Now, Connor, you say ice cold shots, but you're a little more excited. Ice cold shots. You're less excited, Ebo. Damn, that's cold. See? We oh yeah, acting. Do you want one? Yeah, give me a scenario. I asked if you wanted one. If I want what? To make them give them oh. a scenario. Oh, I wanted to act. Oh, you want to act? Yeah. Okay. I want in on this. Um, you are at the airport and you're leaving your tropical vacation and going back to Chicago where you have to do a show every morning at nine a.m. with me. Uh, ice cold shots. Ice cold shots. And you're welcoming welcoming him back, even though he's taking the seat that you said should be yours. Ice cold shots. No, that, I'm, I'm happy to have you back, Mark. I do not want to take your seat. You were you were damn that's cold in that scenario. Damn that's cold. Welcome back, that Mark. Is cold. I do not want that to take your seat. That is cold. I'm taking my seat. Yeah. <laughs> I did not. All right, I have some questions. Uh, we can talk. Uh, we'll talk about the uh, the Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Disclaimer on there. Yeah. It's been a while. White Plains, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys, my brain is back on the island. <laughs> I uh, forgot to read about. Uh, forgot to tell the people wherever you're at. If you're hanging with friends or at the bar, maybe you're doing all the sports stuff or just mostly sports stuff. Call the shots. Cheers with ice cold Jägermeister. Remember to check Jägermeister out at Jägermeister.com. Drink responsibly. Jägermeister, the court, 35 percent alcohol by volume. Imported by Mass Jägermeister U.S. White Plains, New York. All right, Brandon, what do you want to talk about? Well, you have questions. I, I, I do. I yeah. do want to get to your questions. Where, wh- eventually, I'd like to talk about: Is this the end of the Golden State Warriors as we know them? Has to be, right? We've had this discussion before. I feel like, and they fought back. However, Clay Thompson looked deader than dead yesterday. Mm-hmm. G- o for ten. Yeah. From the field, o for six from three, zero points in a must-win game. Steph Curry wasn't great. I mean, he was, he yeah. was fine. I think twenty-two, maybe. Uh, Draymond Green was Draymond Green. He gives you 12. He gives you some rebounds. Um, but they, this was a, a, a miserable-looking season for them. I mean, they finished 10th in the regular season, tried to play their way in, couldn't do it. Um, but the Warriors showing up to a play-in game, an elimination game, and getting beat by 24 points se- seems like the end. It's it's pretty bad. And uh, Chris Paul, this has to be the end for him as well, right? I, like he, I think he, the end for Chris Paul was three years ago. And I know. Just nobody told nobody him. Nobody told him, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and and the, but but the thing about the the Warriors and the Lakers and a lot of these teams in the NBA that have like older dudes on them is there is the belief that for the one game scenario, yeah, maybe they're not going to win the title, but yeah. like you put them in this one game scenario, yeah, the Kings might be a better team. They have the home court, but that's Steph Curry, right? That's Steve Kerr, yeah, that's the big bad Golden State Warriors. They were for one game for one game. I mean, I was watching uh, the the TNT pregame. They they uh, and I know those guys aren't the the you know aren't road scholars and right and they're, but they're great they, but they're, they're, yeah. they're the best but uh i think it was kenny though that uh said um if if both teams play their best if the warriors bring their a game and the kings bring their a game the warriors win and that's that's that, pretty that's as simple as yeah as it gets but i don't know that to be the case it's anymore. also wildly disrespectful of the kings because uh De'Aaron fox is very good yeah uh sabonis is very good like that well just had an 82 game season kings won more games than the warriors yeah 
So if they both played their best game, it would stand to reason that the team that won more games would be the better team. Yeah, and it's and it's based off of nothing that's happening on the court. It's no. purely just like what the, happened five and six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this team used but to be really good. I want to go back to that player really you mentioned good. because Chris Paul joined the Warriors. Do you remember at any point this year going, God damn, Chris Paul and the Warriors? I don't remember a single highlight. If you, told I don't me, remember a single if you, highlight. If you told me Chris Paul scored fewer than 100 points this season for the Golden State Warriors, I would believe it. I have no idea what he did this year. Not a single goddamn thing do I remember about Chris Paul's Warriors year. Yeah, and, and I turned to Connor. And he <laughs> good gave stuff, a, Connor. Connor uh, gave a good frown. No, I, I, I watched the game last night. And I was like, Jesus, I almost forgot that Chris Paul was on the Warriors. Connor. There hasn't been anything. This Jersey confusion from you. I, it's not. Con- uh, is, is today Jersey? No, but it's, six, it's Sixers playing day, and I'm wearing the Julius Irving jersey. Oh, it's Sixers jersey playing day. This is, a, this is a long story tradition in Philadelphia. That's Sixers true. playing day. Everybody wears your Julius Duh, Irving. Is it Sixers playing day already? Fuck, dude. <laughs> Damn is, that on the, is this on the calendar? <laughs> Is this on the uh, mostly sports uh, family calendar here? Put it, put it on we there. Gotta write, we got to write <laughs> Sixers play April, April 17th. 17th. April 17th. Sixers, Sixers play in day. day. It's a big fucking game. I can't wait till next year, Sixers <laughs> play in day. We're going to throw a party. Sixers play in day. There it is. All right. Sixers wow. Sixers play in day. April 17th, we'll always remember. I want to fill that calendar up with stupid things. I have this. I have a lot of questions from the for the show. Oh, for this what show? I, for, for this show. Okay. For what I, from what I missed. Again, right. I was only gone for... Less than a week, but it felt like an eternity. You were definitely gone more than a week. You've been gone for three weeks. This is our Boy, first show wish. together in two weeks. Oh, that's right. I was gone. You were gone. For Forgot a while. about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. We did. No, well, we no, did one show. We did one last we did Wednesday. One last Wednesday. Last Wednesday. Yeah, but, but then you. But then you left. Oh, you. Go, left. You left to go putt putt. Yeah. You left to do the. I had golf. to putt putt. Yeah. So we did half a show. Yeah. Yeah. Then Miss Peaches came in. And then Miss Peaches. Yeah. Man, it's been a while. It really has. We've had a lot of stars coming on the show in the last week. Yeah. You look nice. Oh, thanks, man. Hmm? You look like you have a tan. Do I? I don't really look that tan in the... I look... Okay, sorry. I was just trying to give you a goddamn compliment, man. Yeah, the lights... I, I was looking really pale. Edge was here. That's what I heard. But not, he w- not in studio. wasn't here. He was on the computer. He was on that screen. Do you call him Edge? Or do you call him... Uh, Adam Copeland. Adam Copeland. We have a bench are now. You, are you allowed to call him Adam <laughs> Or are you allowed to call him Edge? Uh, I talked about the character Edge. I didn't call him Edge. Oh, okay. I have respect for boundaries. We have a bench now? Yeah, it's over here. And that is for? That was my birthday present from Nick. Nick gave me a bench. You had a birthday? Yeah, Saturday. Uh-huh. It happened. Holy shit. Yeah. I've missed a lot. It was a big thing. Um. All right, so here are the questions I wrote down. Number one, uh, Ebo, how was Jackson Holiday's debut that I sent you to? How many home runs did he hit? Oh. <laughs> um, oh well, Mark, uh, you went on vacation, what, a week ago? Yeah. Uh, he has one hit since you've gone on vacation. Uh, but it was but, not in that. But that – so the one hit, it was a walk-off home run at the game you went to? No, no. It was a, it was a single to right about – Two days. Oh, but at least you got to see him get a, the one hit. Oh no, uh, yeah, I uh, I was actually um, in the air flying back here, so I actually didn't even see it live. Oh, it wasn't the game you went to. No, no, he actually struck out three times the game I went to. Also, um, the but tickets the-, the tickets were were great. Everything was awesome. We were second row. My buddy, uh, we came back top of the second inning. He had a hot dog covered in ketchup. Just spilled it all over the woman right in front of us. Mm. Spilled a hot dog. Yes, he he it slipped out of like the hot dog container, and the ketchup went all over the woman. <laughs> spilled a hot dog. He spilled oh, the hot have dog. You ever heard of someone <laughs> spilling? Ah, uh, shit! I spilled my hot dog again. So what? What was the? What happened? Um, he awkwardly like got caught in a situation where he's like, "Do I pat her with the napkins that I have in my hand, or like?" Her husband was next to him. She, he's like, I got it. So he, he didn't actually do anything. Oh. Like the, the guy had to take the napkins, pat his wife down. We had to sit awkwardly behind him for the rest. Oh, that's brutal. I thought you said you moved seats. We did. We ended up going to the Centerfield Bar when it was like 9-1. to 1. So you you had to move seats. Jackson Holiday went over mm-hmm. how many? Yeah, you said he struck out three three, three strikeouts. Oh, um, so he struck out every time he saw. There was no yeah, rain on the forecast. Play. It was pouring rain randomly throughout the game. Oh. Um, well, that doesn't sound like a fun trip at all, but at least the Orioles won, you... right? So, <laughs> Nope. Oh, they lost a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, all I right. mean, it, there are some good things. I mean, it's not like it's not like somebody had a medical aver- emergency on his flight on the way to Baltimore. Yeah, that, that also happened, actually, Brandon. You'd be wrong there. There was a medical emergency on my flight to Baltimore. Huh. So, Sounds so like all that. in all, a pretty great trip. Yeah, yeah. Um, awesome. 
Pickles was great. Hung out with RDT. A lot of a lot of family members at Pickles. What's Pickles? Uh, Pickles Pub. It's a bar across the street from Camden Yards. Did Heaven on Earth. Have some bar food? No, I just Orange Crush. That was my food for the day. Nice. And then chicken tenders and fries. Look at this thing. What what is an orange crush? Um, it's, cause I'll is say there, is there not just a drink Seven Up or- fresh uh, squeezed orange juice? I'm gonna say uh, something right vodka now. and I don't uh, think it's that orange. That's not orange at all. Also, is there not already a drink called Orange Crush? Right, this that's confusing. Like, this seems like you're copying the actual orange crush. I think cr- it, I believe that is Crush colon orange soda. That's a point. I think they yeah. might say Orange Crush. No, I, I think he's got a point there. I think there is a Crush soda, but I think there's. You sure there's not an Orange Crush? I'm almost positive. Orange you're, Crush is like a Maryland. You're saying drink. there are more crushes than just the Orange Crush. I think there's, there's crush. multiple crushes, yes. I think there's multiple crushes. I think there's a Crush Energy drink, and there's the also the Orange Crush. Ebo's 100% right here. That's crush just orange. Crush Orange. Crush is a brand of soft drinks, and they mm-hmm. – and, and Orange is their number one flavor. Do Wait, they have other flavors? Tom, crush – I'd like to go back even further. That said, it's owned by Keurig, Dr. Pepper. Keurig and Dr. Pepper are in business together? Yeah, there's only three companies in this country. They're Amazon? All, they're all, Amazon? <laughs> Amazon. Yeah. Uh, Facebook. Hershey slash m ms <laughs> <laughs> And hospitals. Yeah, no, they, they own everything. Yeah. And every... Uh, okay, so... That was question one. That was question one. Got some answers. Uh, glad you had a great time. Glad uh, I spent a lot of... Mo- so much money. And again, it wasn't about the money. It wasn't about no. um, me getting credit for doing a nice thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but God, it was so much fucking yeah. money, Brandon. Just I, for him to have a... I saw I saw the total... A shitty experience. I was taken Crazy. aback at how much yeah. money it was. It was, but it was a great weekend outside. At least that. you can take solace in the fact that it worked out perfectly for Ebo. He got to do yeah, everything he well, I think, to do. Yeah, well, I think the reason I'm so bummed that it was such a shitty experience is that Ebo has not even been a little bit grateful no, for the no. insane amount of money I spent no. on him. But Ebo, I, Not even a little I'm bit. I'm very like, grateful for the gesture. It was, it was awesome. I appreciate it. The game I don't sucked. like the way he said the gesture. The game sucked. It was a great gesture. It was a great gift. Yeah, but every time you say... Thank you for the gesture. That it's means, a way of saying the gift was dog shit, right, but your heart was in the right place. You're insulting the gift by yeah. saying the gesture. It was a great gift. <laughs> but you said, but it's not what you said the first. Game you sucked. said the gesture, you said gesture was great. You said not, the gift was not great. The gesture was great. Implying that the gift, that the gift was, was in fact not great. It was great. No, no, no. If you're on Christmas morning and you open some socks, oh, well, it's the thought that counts. It's yeah. a nice gesture. Thank you for getting me something. That's fair. I, I, you hated the socks. The actual game was... And the socks were so expensive. I, I got to be honest, that's <laughs> they were like... the most expensive socks ever. That's the worst game I've ever I've ever been to. Well, but it, Ebo, it was... But it was fun outside of it. It was Jackson Holiday t-shirt night. Did you at least get a t-shirt? Nope, didn't get a t-shirt. Okay. You had to get there like two hours before the game to get a goddamn t-shirt. Bummer, I thought you did. <laughs> didn't even get the stupid shirt. This was the... This is the worst. No, yeah. What? This is how you do it, Ebo. Watch this. Remember when he sent you, he paid an obscene amount of money to send you to uh, Olivia Rodrigo? You you paid money too, but yeah. Well. Okay. <laughs> how was that? <laughs> how it was, was awesome. It was one of the best nights of my life. Did you get a t-shirt? <laughs> yes, I did get a t-shirt. Did you enjoy the whole thing? Uh, from start to finish, yeah. Great seats? Amazing seats. Did you spill a hot dog on anybody? No. Do you? I'm starting to think that, that these two guys manifest their experience. Because <laughs> like the, the, the two experiences they both had with the, uh, the impromptu gifts we gave them yeah. are... Are very on brand for them. Yeah. <laughs> Evo had an Evo night. Connor yeah, had a Connor yeah. night. No. Uh, That's a sick hat, Evo. Thank you. I like that. Hat. 47 brand. Yeah, the whole fit. Uh, great. Okay, so that was question number one. Uh, question number two, did did you get your doc put in? My peer. And, yes, I got my peer put in. A guy named Alex, um, uh, a stoolie from uh, southern Wisconsin, came down to my house. Uh, he has big, thick thighs. And he put my he put my peer in and my boat in. He put my peer and my boat in together at the same time. Why do you say was thighs? Thick thighs. Yeah. Have you seen the picture of him? Go back to the original um, tweet where I said where I asked people uh, if if they knew anybody to put my peer in, and as a reply, I put a picture of him, or he put a picture of him. Somebody put a picture of him. Um, yeah. You're, okay, because I, I I saw. You think it's gay that I'm talking about his thighs when you see this guy. That's all you're gonna th- talk about. And he he put your peer in. He put my peer in. Yeah. Okay. All right. So shot in the dark. All right. Go down. 
And the hater said it couldn't be done. I think it's a reply to that one. I think it's a reply to that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, so that's the uh-huh. before picture. You're a doc. Okay. Wait. That, look, look, look at these things. Oh, I wow. mean, come on. Good thighs. Look at those. Good things. thighs. But yeah, can't, I mean, it's Quadzilla right here. Look, look at those things. Yeah. Why'd your hair look like that? They was soak. It was pouring rain when we were doing it. When we're he was doing the, it. Uh, you were in the exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I. Uh, you haven't changed since Sunday. I appeared. Well, different shoes and different pants. Mm. Um. So go back up. I want to see the. I, I saw you put the before picture in there. I would like to see the the after. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's the before. So, do you have an after picture? What, what that, that that was what your no, that, that was what your that's the, that's the after. That's that's the pier and that's the that's the pier in the boat. That's that's the that's what you're calling a pier. <laughs> that's that's the pier. Yeah, that's the pier right there. I got you. Go out on the lake. I can't. I can't buy ice cream there. You. I can't hold hands with my best gal. You can no, take your no, best gal no, there. Oh, no, dude. Your, she would. My if I took my best gal there, she would laugh in my face and walk away. Your best gal has been there. Not to that one. To that one. Not she, we, did we hold did we hold hands on that one? I don't Brandon? think you held hands. No, I don't we didn't. She, she didn't come out on the pier, but she came to the patio by the pier and saw the pier. That's a dock. You've been on that boat, That's a dock brother. You enjoyed the boat, Hickory Dickory Dock. <laughs> uh, okay, so you had no your, you had your there. dock put in. It's a nice dock. Um. Uh, question number three, who did uh, – so when I left, John Calipari had left Kentucky. He'd gone to Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Um, the Kentucky job was open. Uh, I I went on uh, I went on vacation. I was out of the country. I, I purposely turned my phone off for the sure. entire vacation. Um, it was like a lightness retreat, the opposite of a darkness retreat. I was just out in the sun. Yeah. Wasn't paying attention. Had no idea what's going on in the world of sports. So who did Kentucky hired? Was it was it was it do Dan multiple Hurley? choice? Let's do multiple. choice. Was it choice. Dan? Well, I know. I, I mean, it's a fifty fifty because I know it was either Dan Hurley or Billy Donovan. Was so, it A, Dan Hurley? Okay. B, Scott Drew. C, Billy Donovan. Oh no. D, BYU's coach who's never won a tournament game. Well, the fact that you. The fact that you made that you listed Scott Drew second tells me they settled for Scott Drew. That's crazy, dude. Because they th- all the talk was like Dan Hurley or Billy Donovan. Yeah, no, um, I agree. And they they must have said no, slight, and they slightly disappointing if they they settled for Scott. They Drew. settled for Scott Drew. It oh. But here's the thing: they got to be so upset. They didn't. God intervened. God told him to stay in Waco. God hates Scott Drew. <laughs> God said. God said. Whoa, where are you going? Uh, uh-uh. uh get back in Waco. So apparently. God either hates Scott Drew or maybe he hates Kentucky. Does God hate Kentucky? So they didn't hire Scott Drew either. So no, they... and didn't hire Billy Donovan. He's still the uh, coach of the Bulls. It did it, hold, did they like? Was that why Steve Kerr was bad last night? Did they uh, did they hire Steve Kerr to didn't, leave the Warriors and he just kind of packed no. it in the rest of the season? No, didn't the didn't hire Steve Kerr. They, who was the fourth option? You said it was BYU's coach who's never won a tournament game. They they huh? <clears throat> Interesting. But that that can't be right because when other schools, when like others like when when Kentucky's rivals hire yeah. someone of that caliber, the Kentucky fans shit all over. Well, and say, and here's look how far your program has fallen. Here's the thing: but Arkansas hired Kentucky's sitting head coach. They just plucked Kentucky's yeah. coach. Kentucky plucked <laughs> BYU's coach. <laughs> Damn, dude. Which it's crazy. Now I think it's set up perfectly because I think we're going to be able to laugh at Arkansas soon when he builds up their recruiting very fast and yeah. starts losing in the second round of the tournament, and then we can laugh at Kentucky because they got they're going to be hiring a new coach in three. That's years. the perfect scenario. I want to laugh at everybody. <laughs> I want to laugh at everybody. <laughs> did you I just, see the I just intro? Like to laugh. Did you see him walking into Rupp Arena? Yeah. Where they brought the bus in and he got off the bus with members of the '96 team. I don't think he played on the '96 team. He was the captain, I thought. He was on the 98 team, wasn't he? I don't oh. think he played on the 96 team. I think he was on it, but I don't think he played very much. Oh, really? I, I'm not I don't know. I, was, I, wasn't, I wasn't born yet. Uh, that's not. So I was, I don't that was so that, long ago, I wasn't. That's not. I would have been. That's I not. I might have been like one 96 is 28 years ago. Yeah. 28 years ago. You're, oh, so I'm, I, yeah, I just turned 30. You're so deep would, into your 30s. I would be two. I would have been like two. You're, yeah. you're deep. You're rounding the corner <laughs> yeah. on 30s. Yeah. Yeah. So. He, uh, he played on the 96. How much did he play, though? 20 minutes a game. He averaged. <laughs> okay, well, he played. All right. He averaged seven he was, and a half. I think he's the captain. Of the it wasn't the captain because he was, he was captain of the 98 team, I think. He was captain. I thought that was. 
No. I thought that was Reed Shepard's dad. No, that team had that. No, you're reversed. I thought that was Jeff Shepard. That was 96. The what? 96 team had Tony Delk. It had Ron Mercer. It had uh, Antoine Walker. There's no chance Mark Pope was the captain in 96. I think he was a sophomore or a freshman. He was a senior. No, not 96. <laughs> really? He wasn't on the 98 team. He was the captain. Am I looking at the right guy? Mark he Pope. He was captain in the 96 team. Damn, was he? He started at Washington, then sure. transferred to Kentucky. Really? See, this is where my memory gets. I'm going. pretty sure. So who was the, the white guy? They, on, just, that doesn't mean he was the best player. Who's the white guy on '98 teams. That was that Scott Pageant. Je- it says Jeff Shepard. Jeff Shepard, senior guard, 6'3", 14 points a game. Reed Shepard's dad. That was on '90s. Pope was the team captain. Of the <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. That's what I was confused by because you you said like, what what right does he have to to carry so the trophy off the bus? I've been carrying this around for three days. Yeah, laughing at him. and I was like, I've been laughing at him for getting off of the bus with the team. That yeah, and I was like, I think I think the the captain of the team that won the national championship has the right to. All right, fine. He was. You to, know what? To your point. He was not the best player. You know what? Rare L for me. Rare. 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 You can't, Very uncommon the, L. The, the rarest of L's. You can't me. assert the rarity of your yeah, L's. Yeah, I can't. That, that is a, not. That was a very rare L. Uncommon very L for uncommon. me. Uncommon. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. So, for what it's worth, by the way, I love Mark Pope. I do. I, th- I think uh, – Kentucky, I am worried about can the Kentucky job swallowing him alive. As I would basically anybody that gets hired by Kentucky, I'd be worried about that job swallowing yeah. him alive. But he's uh he's awesome. He's he's a big time players coach. His offense is a ton of fun, and uh, I I love watching Mark Pope teams at BYU. And yeah. uh, I don't think it's that bad of a hire. But it is funny that that Kentucky, I mean they they did this when Louisville hired a, yeah. a handful of different coaches. They did it when Indiana hired Mike Woodson and they just pointed and laugh and they were like, you fucking idiots. That's the best you could do is Mike Woodson. It's a problem um, when the ego of a fan now, base outpaces the aspirations or the, the reality of what what the athletic director is going to try to go get. Because he wasn't going to – I think he he did offer like ungodly money to, to Danny Hurley, right? Mm-hmm. I think he felt safe offering That's that because he knew the answer was going to be no. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, I'll say this about Mark Pope. The online reaction by Kentucky fans was pretty severe and stark, and God damn it, fuck this and all that. He kind of walked right through that shit. Like, yeah, it didn't, it didn't seem to phase him at all. So, and uh, he's a likable guy. So I think very likable. Got a likable guy at head coach for the first time since Tubby uh, Smith. Yeah, probably Tubby Tubby Smith. Yeah, I mean Patino, as good as he is, isn't likable. Yeah, Billy and Gillespie. Tubby was after Billy Gillespie was Certainly a disaster. Not likable. Yeah. Um, was was Cal likable at any point? No, no. Was only there by ever Kentucky a point fans. that Cal was. I think they liked him in 2012, and that's the only time he was ever liked by anybody ever. Yeah, I don't like him. I never, I never. Liked I don't him. like his stupid face. I never like Cal. Hmm. Uh, all right. So that was, that was question number three. Super rare L though. Super, extremely rare L. Um, oh, question question number four. This this ties in. Um, Why are you surprised that question four comes after three? Because we were. I, I just realized I should have made this maybe question three because we were talking about your doc and I saw my the, peer, yeah. your your you had your doc put in. Uh, yeah, my peer. Um so I was I was curious with question number four. Um what does OJ think of your doc? Because I know that you correspond with OJ um a lot. <laughs> um and and you tweet at him all the time. And we're are, are we are we any closer as a show? I don't know if you guys talked about it while I was away. Are we any closer as a show to getting OJ on the show? Because I think now that we shift away from, you know, you're a college football guy, I'm a college basketball guy. Um, we're both kind of in our off seasons right now, and I thought, what what do you what do you what do you think? It says OJ die. OJ Simpson. Yeah, gone too. <laughs> Is dead. Gone too soon. Yeah. It happened about a week ago. Just about a week ago. Just up and died. He just died. He died. But he never came on the show. It, that why would he do that? that? Does, why would he that die? That does hurt the potential of him coming on the show. We said we were going to have him on the show. But Did I maintain know that? this idea: if I have OJ's corpse on the show, are you against that? If I wheeled him in here. <laughs> Oh man! I, well, so we're a week we're a week removed, right? Since OJ died, it, five days. It, that was that necessary? It just it wasn't a full week. <sighs> so did, be careful about what you're about to say. When did he die? Friday. You sure? Yes. I don't think you are. Well, because Nick was on the show, right? Or was it Feidelberg? It was. It was fights. It was fights. So okay, days. then six days. Did you guys, do you guys do? Do you guys do jokes? 
you guys do? Well, how'd you handle it? Do you handle it with class and tact? Uh, it literally happened on the show. I think we. I, it happened on the show. I, yeah, he, he died on the show. He walked in. He was coming in the door. He didn't make it to the door, and yeah. just, just up and died. Ah, uh, damn. It's still massively disappointing. We never got the "I did it" moment, right? He should have had a press conference right before he died. The uh, deathbed confession. He should have said, "Hey guys, come on." I, I did that shit. Yeah. He uh, what was the? It sounds like he died doing what he loved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he caused his death. Did he? Not. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Well, all right. That's, so uh, good. That's so question number four. OJ right. is a dead man. Uh huh. Um. Mm-hmm. Very sad. I missed that. That would have been a fun day. Um, well, who's our most famous criminal now? Not even murderer. Uh, is is Gislaine still kicking? She's still going. Gislaine. It's got to be Jilly. Gilly. Aaron Hernandez. Yes. No, he, he, I got bad news. Also dead. What? <laughs> also dead. Yeah. Yeah. What? Very dead. Mm-hmm. Most famous criminal. Um, murderer. It has to be a murderer? That doesn't have to be. Well, does it have to be... Who's our most famous person that got away with a crime? Do we even have one right now? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. Mark said Hillary under, under his breath. <laughs> Probably Jim Harbaugh, I would say. I would say Jim Harbaugh winning the national championship. Um, I'm not allowed to say that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well... Yeah, who's who's uh who else is uh What's question five? D B Cooper still alive? We don't know who D B Cooper is. He could be. That feels like a Tommy Walker thing. You think he really you think he he died in that plane in, in that incident, or you think he he lived thirty or forty? I think he lived. I think he lived. And I think uh I think your 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 son would have a lot of thoughts on this. Have you have you done your due diligence and and Uh we're doing Forrest Gump right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're doing I, I feel like you, as a father, need to at some point expose Tommy to the DB Cooper. You know, you won't know how Just how me. cheap I am, Mark. Would you like to know that? I'm not cheap. I spend. I have a spending problem. But in some instances, I'm cheap. Uh, Tommy last Friday wanted to watch Forrest Gump. You can't stream Forrest Gump for free, so I rented it for three dollars off of Amazon, and we watched the first hour and forty minutes. We had forty minutes to go. Last night he comes and says, "Do you want to finish it?" And I said. Uh, we're outside the 48-hour window. I'd have, I'd have to rent it again. <laughs> Do you really want to watch it? And he said, well, I don't – yeah, kind of. And I, I said, all right, well, let's get to the weekend and see if we still want to watch it. <laughs> $3 just, just threw up a, uh, a red so, flag. This, this is what I was talking about. What were you talking about? <laughs> what, what were you talking about? I offered to watch Forrest Gump with Tommy. And Brandon said, no, I'm going to watch it with him. And now here we are, what, uh, three days later, four days later, he's not even finishing the movie. Do you think you would have done a better job? I have it on Blu-ray. I would have given it to you on Blu-ray. Or I at least would have watched it with Tommy on Well, Blu-ray. bring it to me on Blu-ray then. No, I don't Why didn't you do that in the first place? I don't know if I want to. Why didn't you do that in the first place? Why, why, do you, why are you now holding that over me? If that was an option the whole time, I could have watched it on beautiful Blu-ray on my PS5. I could have done that. But instead, you were selfish, and you wanted the Blu-ray for your own watching with Tommy. You didn't keep me in the loop on the Tommy Walker Forrest Gump saga, so I... <laughs> it's fine. Connor, I feel like you're taking this very personally. Um, here's the one thing about Tommy that a lot of people don't know. That's my motherfucking son. <laughs> <laughs> I created him with my penis. <laughs> I created You've him. created nothing. But it's my favorite movie. That counts for something. I don't think it does. All right. Have you ever been to Savannah and sat on the bench? Because I have. No, I really want to, though. They turn the bench uh, back inside. Yeah. It faces out in the movie, but it doesn't face out in real life. Yeah. It faces inward. It's an inward Ooh. bench. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> it's, an, it's an old inward bench. Uh, <laughs> how, far, how far into the movie did you guys get? Right to right before he starts running. Hmm. Right when uh, the 4th of July uh, fireworks are going off and Jenny turns off the TV or one of them turns off the TV and then, and then Jenny's going to bed and Forrest is like, I, 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 love, I love you. And she says, you don't know what love is. And I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. 
right there. Damn. All right. The next day, that bitch leaves, and uh, like a fucking bitch, she leaves, and then he starts running. Why did he? He ran because she left. He, I think he was he was bored because he was he was, I guess he was you know he was tapping that pussy a lot, and he. She left. Did you tap the pussy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was tapping it a lot, and <laughs> she left. He didn't have anything to tap, so he just started running. Mm. I've been there. <laughs> um, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I've never missed pussy so much I had to run. I have to run. I uh, Yeah, I haven't seen Forrest Gump in, in ages. Um, but it said, you said it's it's not free to watch on Amazon? No. Nah, I probably won't watch it. No, it's Amazon, a, I have no at three dollars every, t- every I time have... I want to watch a movie, I'll Google streaming service for this, and if it's free or somewhere or, or on a service I already pay for, I'll go watch it. And if it just has the audacity to be on Amazon and I have to rent it for three dollars, no, that's every fucking movie. Dude. No chance Let, I'm watching that fucking movie. Every movie on earth that I don't want to watch is available for free on one of these. Well, not even free because I'm paying for right. the services. It's on Netflix. It's, or on, it's Netflix, on Hulu. Hulu something. Max. Is that what they call them now? Matt? It's not yeah. even HBO Max yeah. anymore. It's Disney Max. Plus. Subscribe to all of them. None of them are none of them are are free. Mm-hmm. Every movie I want to watch is on Amazon for three ninety nine mm-hmm. to rent, <laughs> or fourteen ninety nine to buy. <laughs> the only movies you can you you can you can watch for free now are all the Marvel movies on Disney Plus. That's it. Yeah. Because on Netflix, you'll see a movie and you'll be like, "Oh, I should come back and watch that." And then you go back three hours later, and that motherfucker's not there anymore. Uh, I rented a movie the other day. I rented your uh, your wrestling movie, the old uh, the old mandible claw. Is that what they called it? The, what's the, the the claw? The iron claw. The the iron claw. Did what's you? the what's the other one? What which one did I say? You said the mandible claw. That's which man. One? That's mankind's finishing move. Oh, where he puts his his fingers in your mouth. Yeah, and squeezes. This one is the iron claw. Yeah, this is, is about uh, the Von Erich family and the many suicides they had. Yeah, how uh, did you like it? Yes, I, I I was distracted by Zach Efron. I won't lie. I won't lie. I was it's distracted. It's a fair by Zac point. It's I was a fair just, point. It was fine film. Great. Yeah. Not, not a great story and like a, a uplifting story, but yeah. a great well told story. Well told story. Compelling story. Heart wrenching story. Yeah. Um, I was intrigued by it all. Uh, but my number one bullet point on the review of the movie is Zach Efron. Beautiful man. Oh, oh, that's that was. Your, oh, oh, what were you? What were oh. you doing? What were you saying? Like it looked like he was melting. Oh, like it's, what? What the fuck happened to Zac Efron? Yeah, what happened to Zac Efron? That was my thing. Yeah, like, <laughs> like he, well, what, what was wrong with Zac Efron? Yeah, that's that's what, yeah, we're, yeah, that's what yeah. we're saying. All right, yeah, that's our straight take on this. Yeah, um, I don't know what happened to Zac Efron. He, he, he. I mean, let's face it, very confusing. He's kind of a beautiful man. He's a beautiful man. He's a beautiful man. Um, my last, my last question. I question number five, and then we could we can get into the uh, talk and ball portion of the show. But I have a lot to catch up on from uh from my vacation. What a vacation it was. What a what a vacation it was. I will say, best vacation of my life, Brandon. Can't recommend it enough. I, t- I I texted the group. Um, well, how much did you do? Nothing. Didn't do a goddamn thing. I put up a twenty eight trillion. That was my final <laughs> stat. Uh, I drank twenty eight rum punches. Uh huh. Um, I did. Zero excursions. Okay. I did zero. Zero sites were seen. Mm-hmm. There were zero things learned about the local culture. How many workouts did you get in? I did zero exercise. Mm-hmm. I did zero venturing off of the of the resort. Did zero. I, I did. I didn't do a goddamn thing. I, I I woke up. I went to the beach and I drank rum punches. And I I gotta go back. You weren't you I'm weren't alone. Back. Was there anybody with you that ever said, "Hey, let's go do something"? Oh yeah, I'd add that to the zero. Zero friends made. You know, like sometimes you go on vacation and you're yeah. like, you know, you realize you're gonna be at this resort with like the same groups of yeah. people. So like, well, I might as well show social. Where are you guys from? You guys from? You guys from Boston? Oh, oh okay. beautiful city. I've been there. Red Sox, huh? Yeah, yeah Red Sox. Yeah. 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 Oh, that, that, that. No, <laughs> none of that. No, no talking to anybody. I think vacation uh, friends are the weirdest friends. Yeah. Because there's just no way to maintain that. Yeah. You you can be the best friends for four days, but as soon as y'all get back to where you're going, there you're not maintaining that ever. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I don't understand. I, I saw a lot of people yeah. socializing with each other, and uh, yeah. I wanted no part of it. Oh, I wanted no part of it. We're going through Boston. We should stop in and see Ben and Becky. Yeah. And you get to Ben and Becky's house. Who the? What? Yeah. Who are these people? Yeah. Ben and Becky suck. There's also, like, the, the people that were, they were really friendly, the people that worked at the resort. Yeah. Uh, but there was also a, a, a fake sense of camaraderie there, too. Where, like, as I left, I was like, all right, see you guys next time. And I was like, why the fuck would I come back to, mm-hmm. the like, Maybe some people. You didn't do that. cry walking out the resort door. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. 
but yeah, there was a uh, yeah, it was a weird. Th- but I didn't. Uh, yeah, it was a great vacation. But anyway, last last uh, last question I had uh, because I was I didn't have a lot of service, uh, a lot of a lot of cell phone service, you know. So my, my I, I didn't I, I didn't keep up with what was going on with the show. But I get back to the states, turn the phone on, just bombarded by tweets, oh. by by. Uh, there were a handful of emails. I was like, "Who the fuck is emailing me this?" Um, people are texting me. It was crazy. Uh, that there is a growing belief, and I don't know who's spearheading this, but I that's what I want to want to call to attention here. There is a growing belief that the show is in fact better with Connor Griffin sitting in this chair, and that the show when I'm gone uh, is better, and that Connor is better. So I guess my question to Connor is, um, do you do you believe that to be true? Before I address that, wow! The fact that it wasn't a no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, no. This, this helps. That was interesting. The fact that I, it wasn't a no immediately that was says a lot. I have Forrest Gump pulled up on my phone. If you want to watch the movie, oh, so you're deflecting after after the show. If you Are want to watch the movie, paying attention to this question. Yes, after you after we discuss this after the show. If you want to watch Mark Forrest Gump, we can watch it. Oh, secondly, I'll watch it on your phone with you. I also have it on my laptop. Okay. Uh, secondly, that is totally false. I said it yesterday when I was in the host chair. By the way, never asked to be in the host chair. You said it yesterday that the show's better. No, no, no. I said it yesterday. That, that, you could go back and watch the tape. I said the show is clearly best when it's you and Brandon because it's your guys' fucking show. It's second best when we get somebody else in content in here, whether it's Big Cat or Nick or Tate or Feidelberg or whoever, and then it's a very clear three or four when I'm in the host chair. I do not ask to be oh, in the Oh, you're chair. putting yourself at third. I'm saying the show is best when we have third. two people at the desk. Interesting. <laughs> I'm I, no, that's not the third person. But, I'm you're saying, on, but you're on the podium, is what you're saying. So you're I, on the podium. I'm saying you you, you you think that you I belong on the podium. I'm saying Brandon <laughs> needs somebody to control him at times, and there needs to be somebody at the desk to balance him out, or else he just goes off and talks about animals for forty minutes. <laughs> So, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Now, you just said Brandon needs somebody at the desk to control him, or else he's going to go off and talk about animals. Yet you were in that chair. I gave up yesterday, and I talked about animals for days. I, I gave up yesterday, and you didn't stop me. No, because at that point I was like, "This is more." Also, I can't be at the desk multiple days in a row because people start to get sick of it. Mm. That's the issue. So for anybody who's saying that the show is better, first of all, I doubt that those people exist, and secondly, they're wrong. No, they exist. So I have a, my, I, my my own mother. I have a <laughs> mother texting me. To me she's, like, right gotta, she's like, you know, I love you, but like, I think the show might be better with Connor. So I got a, I got a tweet to me yesterday from Joe Pa didn't know four oh nine, and it says Connor Griffin greater than greater than greater than Mark Titus. This is what I'm saying. This is this is out there, and Connor. I feel like. Yeah. My issue, and I, I'm not putting the full responsibility on Connor, but I do think that when Connor was sitting in this chair, he could have done a better job of, you know, pouring water on that fire that was yeah. burning. Because there was a there, like I was gone for a little buddy, bit of time, buddy. and the fire started to grow. And I feel like he was he Connor, had gasoline on yeah, under, under, yeah. under the desk. He had gasoline. Connor could have been like, I appreciate the opportunity. However, I also understand my role. But instead, I come back. I ask you point blank. First of all, you don't answer the question. I said we can watch Forrest Gump. After Secondly, that. you put yourself on a podium where you're like, yeah, I mean, I'm 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 in range. Connor, let me stop you're you saying there. you're in range. Let me stop you there, because your response to Mark's question, hey Connor, do you believe the show is better with you on the desk than me? Your first response was, we can watch Forrest Gump on my mm-hmm. phone. Because I, it's what a bonding that, moment. What does that say to everybody? It's a bonding moment. It shows that I care about Mark and I respect him. And I said yesterday so on the show. So knowing that you're better than he is on the show, no. you're going to reach out to him and you're going to bond that. You're going to you're gonna fill that gap with Forrest Gump. I said yesterday on the show, thank God Titus is coming back tomorrow. I want to be uh, back on the couch. I What I think is happening, Connor is trying to steer me towards his interests. Mm-hmm. So that way his <laughs> interests get brought up on the show, Brandon. And then yeah. what will happen is Connor will demonstrate – a deeper understanding of those interests, yeah. thereby showing that he is better than I am, and this is this is well, this, this reeks to high hell. My next question for the to show was going to be this: uh, given given their relationship throughout the show, can you can you weave your thoughts or can you tell me your thoughts about how Jenny and Forrest affected each other throughout their lives and growing up together, and what that meant for the uh, for for that? Show, yeah, I'll certainly try. Meant. I mean, I have seen Forrest Gump a handful of times Connor, you in a while. Um, I. Th- no, it's Mark. Mark's turn. Sure. <laughs> Listen, it's Brandon's fault, honestly, for being completely fair. 
So now, not only have you su- tried to supplant Mark, you're now throwing me under the bus. We had five days without Mark. We only got somebody to fill in that chair twice. You know why? Do you want to know why, Connor Griffin? Why? Because I believe in my fucking guys. Thank you. Because I believe in family. We didn't need anybody else. We had we had all we needed in this room. Except for those two days where you brought in. <laughs> <laughs> Except for those two days. <laughs> and, the, and the numbers were better. <laughs> and those two days far and away the best two yeah, shows we had. <laughs> but naturally. Did you see the fights line? The uh, the walking like a dog thing? Yeah, yeah. that was hilarious. That was so funny. It was, yeah. That's the hardest Fight I've rules. laughed in a long time. <laughs> Fights rules. I love I love that man. Is he uh, back today? Yeah. He's back Wait, in is Chicago? he? Yeah. Oh, so I thought he was still in back today. Oh, well, what the fuck am I doing? He fights. Come on. <laughs> I thought he was in Ireland. Yeah. He, he, I think he's coming back next week. Oh, for the festival. there's a bunch of. Oh, for the screening. There's I don't, a bunch I don't, of people here to, to today and tomorrow for and Friday for Film Fest stuff. We should yeah. try and. Uh, I want to talk about DraftKings and we're going to talk a little NBA. Um, The 82 game preseason is in the books and it's finally time for the real season. Don't miss out on any of the NBA playoff action on uh, at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. From the playing tournament through the finals, from every opening tip to every buzzer beater, DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered with same-game parlays, live betting, uh, odds boosts, and so much more. And if you're new to this whole sports betting thing, it's super easy to get started. Try betting on something simple like a team to win. Go to the app, select your team, and place your first bet. It's that simple. And here's something else to sweeten the deal for all new customers. Bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. New customers, download the SportsKings uh, the the DraftKings, I'm sorry, Sportsbook app, and use code FAMILY. That's code FAMILY to get $200 in bonus bets when you uh, bet just $5 only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. DraftKings Sportsbook app. Before you get to the NBA stuff real quick, because we need to talk about the Lakers and, and what happened last night in Zion. <clears throat> Animals. <laughs> Go on. So we went around the room yesterday, and the question was, what's the best animal? And we're trying to build the 64-team bracket. No, we were trying to build the top 10 animals list, and then we got to the farm bracket and everything, and it's grown to – it might be 188, 128-team bracket at, at some point. Anyway, TJ maintained that the best animal was the kangaroo. I said just the, the classic domesticated dog is your best animal. Um, Ebo, I'm looking at him right now in the face. He said elephant – and Connor Griffin said otter is his favorite animal, but the best animal was what? Did you go with otter? No, I said for the top ten, honey badger, honey badger. could be considered. Yeah, and I think that was the worst answer I've ever heard. Uh, what's what's the best? I what's the best animal? I can't. I, I don't. I don't want to do this. I just like I just, I, I I see. I it's please. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna start a fight, and then I—I I don't know, man. I just came back from vacation. I'm feeling good. Vibes are high. I'm just kind of chilling over here. I don't really want to start, you know. I don't want to fight. And, um, but if you did want to fight, I don't. I—I. I, it's an elephant. I'm with Ebo. It's an elephant. W. An Common. elephant's the best animal. W. <laughs> Common. Elephant is the best animal. So you just fall for the same trap that everybody falls for. Just size is the best is is, is all that matters. Size is all that matters. Is that uh, what you versatility? Say? How versatile is an elephant? Could I? Could he run so a post versatile. route? Could he run a corner route? Yeah. Could an elephant? Yeah. No, an elephant's uh, not running a corner in, route. In the circus in the in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> That's two things. Asian African. Uh. Uh. What else? The uh. They can, they can, they can fly, or the one could. That's the one. That's, the one could. Yeah, but that's they, just they, they could become a fire hose. Um, well, that's true. Yeah, they could do. That's awesome. Um, and you was right. The trunk is a big. It's it's you know it's the only real. It's definitely the most useful trunk in, in the animal mm-hmm. world, right? They play they play tricks with their trunk. They'll they'll prank. Oh, them. you can also you can poach them and use their tusks for to make a piano. <laughs> so that's. <laughs> What do we use for pianos? That's, these that's days? pretty. That's pretty awesome though that they have fucking yeah. tusks. Yeah. That's a big. That's a big. That's plus. The tusks are yeah. That's a point in their favor. What do we use for piano keys now? P- porcelain. No, we need to start killing elephants again. <laughs> we, there was really no better sound than uh, than that ivory. Are you are you allowed to uh, like in? Are you allowed to poach poachers? 
in in I think that's like, murder. Is that self defense though? You're no, I thought that if you're an I elephant, thought that was uh Didn't I an elephant a kill thing. a woman last week? Probably. Or a man killed a I was killed... trying to kill elephants? No, it was just just it, it was in a safari car and it just rammed the car. Just said really? fuck you car. Well, I mean, we we got to hear both sides. <laughs> you don't know what the politics of that woman was. We don't know what the car said. Yeah, to the you elephant. don't know what the the politics. The, the she could have. She could have had some controversial opinions. The elephant saw. Have we scrubbed her tweets? Do the we elephant she, saw a MAGA hat and just <laughs> lost its mind. Um, it was a seventy-nine-year-old woman from Minnesota. I don't. I'll look. She was on safari. And, yeah, in Zambia. I'll look. I'll look further into her tweet history. I thought there was a rule. <laughs> I thought there was a rule. I thought there was a policy in in some of these African places. That you can just you can just murder the poachers. Maybe I maybe I didn't know that. That if you if you see a guy poaching, you can poach the poachers. It's like vigilante poaching. You want to go poacher hunt? I want to go poach. I want to poach the poachers. Let's go poacher hunt. I love elephants, and I don't like that they're shooting them. And I think we should. Where would be the best place to poacher hunt from? Would you sit, like, how would you would you sit on top of the elephant? Imagine if you just sat like I would in the trunk. I would. Isn't that what Ace Ventura Nature Calls was? Well, he was in he the, was in a rhino. He was in a rhino, but he came out the butthole. Yeah, but he was hunting the po. He was poaching the. He was trying to. Catch no, the he poacher. was spying. He was, he was spying. He was spying on some evil doers that were talking. That's how I would do it, though. Is I would I would create a fake elephant situation and then have a have my gun coming out of the, butt- the butthole out of the butthole of the elephant. The first time I saw Ace Ventura, so I think I think that's a pretty standard way to do it. First time I saw him come out of that butthole might have been the hardest I laughed in the movie. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was very funny. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about uh, so, you, so you guys were arguing about the best animals. I, listen, but best is best is so it's like what, uh, what yeah, do, but there's no. What do, you, what do, you, do you need a do you need an animal to plow a field? Do you need an animal to make you laugh? Do you need an animal? Well, to, what's most important to you? Elephant can do both of those things. Yeah. What? Who plows fields with elephants? Definitely some farmers somewhere. That can't count. That, that cannot <laughs> count. <laughs> that, it's just, uh, that was not specific enough point. to count. That's a very strong point. <laughs> Definitely some farmers somewhere plowing fields with elephants. Um, I w- yeah. I like I like octopus, too. I know TJ's a big octopus guy. Yeah. Uh, Ebo's very anti-octopus. Ebo fucking hates octopus. Why do you hate octopus? They're yucky, dude. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Everything about <laughs> <them> is yucky. <laughs> What's going on with Ebo right now? See how addictive they're, this, this they're conversation yucky, is? Dude. Mm. Connor says, "What the honey badger?" Connor's just trying to be an uh, internet cool guy. I was just throwing it out. Look, he's, there's people. F- he's got people farming with elephants. Yeah, in Thailand, I have a video of. No, you don't plowing with elephants. You do not have a plowing with elephants video. That's not that, that doesn't happen. That's like a. Like, that sounds like a. That's <laughs> yeah. That was. We, we get boy, in there. Went, <laughs> right back into it, huh? I went through a phase <laughs> plowing with elephants. <laughs> Back in college, it was those were the dark days. <laughs> well, you had to do what you had to do, man. Yeah. Uh, speaking of elephants, Zion Williamson. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I think that was the perfect encapsulation of five years of Zion Williamson as an NBA player. Like, it, what what have we been waiting five years to see him unleash this dominant? He's had some flashes in the past. But he shows up last night, puts 40 points, 11 rebounds. They can't stop him. The offense is humming. Uh, they do this big comeback. They're right there. And three minutes to go in the game, see you, Zion. He gets hurt just out of nowhere. Zion Williams is the most out of nowhere get hurt guy in the world. He'll get hurt anytime. And sucks for the Pelicans. But I got one I got one statement to say about that. Like, for somebody who was hurt and missed the last three, three minutes, he was walking pretty smooth off that bench. Well, it's hard to it's hard to diagnose what's wrong with Zion always because of how he walks. He always he's got the waddle. He walks. He has a hurt walk. He has a hurt walk. Yeah. It has he he he's always yeah. just kind of yeah. Doo, doo, doo. He ambles. Yeah. He lumbers. Um. So he kind of always looks hurt. Yeah. But yeah, it was re- it was really weird. Do we do we have any idea what happened? We still don't know. Left hamstring. But. <laughs> Left hamstring and his butt. butt? Well, left no. Ham- his left hamstring butt. All the way up to his butt. Left hamstring butt, butt. based off how it went in the game. So what's go- worse, the butt or the hamstring? Uh, butt's pretty bad, too. I'll go hamstring, but 
you'll go hamstring butt. Yeah, but if he, he gets hurt, uh, fuck yeah, he's saying hamstring butt. If he gets hurt in his hamstring, it goes all the way up to his butt. That's a pretty severe. And, that is. That is. And that's a. That's a pretty. Yeah. Butt. That's a. That's a. Yeah. yeah. That could so be. That was. That was life threatening. Is is the NBA rigged? Yes. <sighs> Rigs. That, like, I'm not. I'm not saying Zion wasn't hurt or didn't pull his hand. Like, it, it, uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. He. It, it, it's. I, I don't. I don't mean to suggest that he was just like it, it was. It was the end of a, a massive game for him. It was the culmination of his career to this point. And he was yeah. just like, you know what? I think I'm good. <laughs> right. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Uh, How many I got? Forty. God damn. <laughs> I'm not accusing. <laughs> that of happening but there was something very dissatisfying about like you, you can live with the idea of a guy getting hurt like it sucks it, it kind of ruined the game the Pels were coming back and Zion was was a monster um but if he gets hurt in like an obvious way we get the replay and, oh god dude look at that ankle roll yeah. oh that's so bad right. fuck for that it, to happen that in that this rupture, moment yeah, yeah ah that's a, there's something uh very Un, un unsettling, un unfulfilling about how it how he just kind of, it was just kind of like yeah he must have tweaked something. Not to make this reference, not to reference this movie one more time, but it was like Forrest Gump ending his run, where like he's just running for three years, all of a sudden he stops, turns around, and says, "I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home." That's what Zion did. Zion did 40 points, 11 rebounds with three minutes left. He just said, "I'm hurt now." Yeah, and I I'll think, see y'all. I think the reputation of the league now it's a different thing in the playoffs, but the the load management reputation of the league makes it so. I think we are conditioned. That if you don't see a gruesome injury, you're like this guy yeah. has to be faking what a it, or like he's yeah okay maybe your hamstring's a little sore, dude, but come on, this is a this is a massive game. You're just gonna walk off the floor like that. Uh, is the NBA the number one tweak injury? Um, Without sport, like is, question, it, is it the right? sport where it's like where that happens the most? Yeah. Like if a football guy, if a, if a guy playing football was like. I pulled my hamstring and I'm out. I, I wouldn't I would, really question it. I would argue base, maybe baseball. Baseball, baseball will have somebody. A good one. He runs the bases. He goes into the dugout, and then you find out in the top of the next inning that somebody's replacing him in the field. Like what? Yeah. What, what do you What do you mean somebody's replacing him in the field? Well, ba baseball pitchers too. Like their their fingernail was cut a little bit too short. Yeah. And you're like, that's why you can't. And like, as it turns out, it it actually makes it impossible to to throw the pitches they want to throw, yeah. but. To have the like injury report be like his his fingernails a little bloody. Also, baseball pitchers have the 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 worst injury that sounds like the guy's a pussy. When yeah. a guy gets scratched because he has a blister on his finger, you're like, what? Yeah, a blister on his finger. Try throwing a ball with a blister on your finger. Yeah, that's kind of exactly what I just said. But you said a cut on his fingernail. That's that's basically what I. No, nope, no, nope. you that's just, you were specific about the nail. You were specific about that. Yeah, but, I mean, it's just like kind of a trivial injury to the layman. You were all up in that nail, though. Yeah. You couldn't have on, been on a nail. finger. You were like Jesus. A pitcher. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was it was, it was was a big-time bummer. Zion, Zion was playing well. He was he's, – he's, he's so awesome. I have a Lakers did. observation. Go ahead. Does Austin Reeves run that team? Down the stretch, Austin Reeves was was the primary ball handler and playmaker. Um, that does allow LeBron to get off the I think ball. They were doing a lot of LeBron iso ball down the stretch. Uh, there was yeah, a, a lot little of, bit, but there was a lot of LeBron. Austin Reeves was running that thing for the last five minutes. Well, you know, LeBron has the most points per game in the fourth quarter in the entire league. This year. This year. Yeah, sorry, that was clarification. That's, Just this year. That's pretty amazing. So. I think throughout the course of the season, it's been LeBron running the show. He was gassed. Ebo was also uh, really uh -oh. trying to Here get us go. worked up in the group chat yesterday. He was like, "LeBron is your goat sucks." Late. It's a great, it's a great debate. Is LeBron old? He, <laughs> is LeBron old? He, that was the. It's first a great time debate because he was missing. He looked old as fuck. LeBron was, was gassed. The first time ever. Connor, he missed how many layups? He he was not looking great. Attacking down the, stretch. the basket, yeah. He 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 was missing him in the Taking first quarter. Taking fadeaways with double teams on yeah. him, but he, he still had a, a triple, almost a triple double. No, that's night. what I'm saying. It's a great debate. Is he old? Is LeBron James old? <laughs> he was not great in the fourth quarter last night, but for the majority of the season, he has been the go-to guy. Define last night, old. it was Reeves. Uh, just, just, just kind of getting up there. I think he might be. Yeah, just kind of. He's just yeah. like, yeah. boy, he's getting up there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A little tread on the tire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Zion like just blocking like all his shots around the rim last night too. Like the, he looked like the old guy in the court for like the first time in his entire career. You I know, think that's what happens to Zion when he gets he 
he goes from being healthy and getting 40. He looks old when he gets hurt. Yeah. He looks old when he walks. Yeah. Zion has an old walk. Continue. Speaking of elephants, do you see the elephant running around the streets? Where? Montana. They have, okay. They have streets in Montana? Is that what you're saying? Uh-uh. I think this was in the group chat. Well, that, that, you can't be in that lane. On the road. <laughs> oh, my God. They're way too calm. I, Laughing at the, oh I would be God. screaming and panicking and also turning around. If I'm in that car, I would be. <laughs> I think I'd be fine. There's no tusk. Only in Butte. Dude, if this elephant ran what, at you, what's, it would what's crush your... I just go to the casino. Started. Oh, That's awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. Doesn't seem to be... It seems fine. He does look jolly as fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's... Where are you I, going? Where are you going, friend? <laughs> this move is fast. Yeah, I don't like... Yeah, that guy fine. chasing him, dude. This is just in Montana. They have elephants like that in Montana. So he escaped from something, right? Yeah. <laughs> what? Did they have music on earlier? No, this is the, the car that was in All front right. of the last Jeep. Oh, oh. Wow. yeah. Oh, we got multiple views of this. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Is this from the fr- first one? That's car? from the Jeep. No, that was the first one. Oh, it was the first one. Okay. Too calm. Yeah, I mean, that's... I think... I I would I think they matched the elephant's calmness. I think that elephant yeah, was calm, therefore they were calm. There's no need to freak out. It's just an elephant going on a little walk. Just going down the road. What do you want him to do? Elephants yeah. are ele- elephants are a top five animal. I would give it. I I just don't know if I can crown them the best animal yet. What did you say was number one? I have the good old fashioned dog. Just a dog. I think that I think we perfected animals. Dogs are dogs aren't really animals though. They're dogs. Well, they're animals, but but they're dogs. We domesticated. That's not really the spirit. Of we domesticated them. That's, it's just a dog. We domesticated them. It's just a them. dog, though. They're our best friend. They're man's best friend. You going to turn on your best friend right now? No, but that's what I mean. It's not an animal. That's my I want you to go home, friend. look in your dog's eyes, and say an elephant's better than you. No, I'm saying a dog's not an animal. Dog's saying an animal. a dog, dog is above an animal. A dog is a, a dog. <laughs> when does a dog stop being a do- uh, an animal? Um, when it becomes a dog? Yeah, when a dog is a dog, it's a dog. Yeah, but there are dogs out there that are animals. Do you, do you disagree with that? When a dog is a dog, it's a dog. I think it's a dog, yeah, okay, but it's still right. that it's an animal. Yeah, it just doesn't feel this. It, that doesn't fit the spirit of the question. I wrote the question, sir. No. Well, you wrote the question, what's the best animal? <laughs> I wrote that that's question. A, that's a Brandon Walker original, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> Nobody's ever thought that's about that. That's mine. Animal. Uh... You know who sucks and needs to be talking about is LeBron old. Um, you know who's old and washed up and needs to be put out the pasture is Reggie Miller. <laughs> yeah. What was this he saying? This guy stinks. What was he saying? They uh, to, they're icing the game. Anthony Davis is at the free line. Throws. He says you should miss it. Lakers right? are up two with 2.7 left. Anthony Davis makes the first, and Reggie Miller goes, this is the great debate in sports. <laughs> <laughs> he this should is, miss it. Should he miss it on purpose? And give the Pelicans a chance to hit a half-court shot at the buzzer to send the game to overtime. Or should he make the shot to go up four and in end the, the game. game? It's a great. It's what. It's it's something that a lot of the coaches talk about. It's it's certainly. I don't know. I've it, seen it, so many bar fights over this discussion. <laughs> should you go up four or should yeah. you allow the team a chance to tie the game? Yeah. What do you think? So bad, and what? And the thing about Reggie is, it's he's not even just bad in in one moment. It's not like he yeah, he's not great. It's not like he just slipped up that one time. He called Zion six three at one point. Mm-hmm. Um, there was one. Yeah, he he said <laughs> something. Uh, he said something so poorly. I wish I I wish I clipped it. Um, Kevin Harlan mockingly said, "Well said, Reggie." After he said oh, something oh, oh. like, <laughs> he was like, "You got to give your." Uh, Kudos, props to the Lakers or something, and and, and Kevin Harlan was like, "Well said, Reggie." And the joke was that it was not well said, Brandon. It was in fact, oh, he was being sarcastic. It was horrendously said. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Reggie Miller's really bad. He's he's really really bad. And how he became like the number one guy for these games is crazy to me. When does a kudo become a prop? Do you, can you get one kudo? You ever had one kudo? Multiple kudo. Kudos, kudos only kudo. travel in pairs, right? Mm-hmm. A minimum of two. It's a kudos. Anybody remember the chocolate bar kudos? Yeah. Is it is it is it discontinued? I don't think it's still a thing. Should we talk about the, the snake draft chocolate bar? They fucked that up, eh? Well, first of all, somebody's got to put a lid on the Reese's. You can't just take 25 Reese's things in a damn... I, I, I get it. I agree. But, but, like, the first two picks in the chocolate bar draft were Reese's 
uh, cups, and then Reese's Take Five, and then there were there were five other Reese's things in there, and look, they didn't get the yeah, best but they're all, one. Those are all different candies. I understand that, but look how many times Reese's is in there. Like, God damn. The argument is, like, is it a flavor? Is it Because, like, a Reese's Take 5 is a Take 5 with peanut butter. A Reese's Stick is a Kit Kat with peanut butter. A Reese's Nut Rageous is a Reese's with – it's basically a Snickers with Reese's Yeah, see, butter. this is what I didn't want to do. This is this – is, yeah. this is, then this is uh, – on the islands? On the islands, we didn't do this. Wait till on the you, islands, we, oh, we, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't devolve into this madness. Wait, just, wait, wait for the animal draft, buddy. <laughs> The yeah. animal drafts coming. When I was, you know, when I was on the islands, we just kind of chilled out, and we we did not get involved in in petty. I tell you what, petty quarrels such as this. <laughs> getting getting <laughs> Nestle Crunch in the twenty first pick in the fourth round Crunch is, is good. Some some kind of value right there. Also, they didn't take the best Reese's. What what's the best Reese's? Fast break. <sighs> also, Reese's pieces is it, someone took that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people were pointing out that the, there's no chocolate in a Reese's piece. Oh, it's all peanut butter. It's all peanut butter and sugar coated. Yeah, that's right. You're right. There is no chocolate. Or M and M's. Yeah, and peanut butter M and M's, which are way better than Reese's pieces. I like uh, them both. I like them both. Yeah, there are a lot of M and M's on that. Yeah. What's the blue M and M's bag? Mini. Uh, caramel. What's the red? Peanut butter. They still do pretzel M and M's. M and M's is is the two the per the this blue. One. blue. I like mini M and M's better than regular ones. They come in the canister. I think the pretzel M and M's are good for once once a year, but I, I couldn't see eating them very often. Yeah. yeah, the problem with those is uh, you can just get chocolate covered pretzels, and yeah, those are those are better. You don't need the M M&M and M version. What what those do you like good. for chocolate covered pretzels? The like the the stick, the rods, or no, the, I like the, uh, I like the uh, little the twist, pretzels, dude. Oh, yeah. The ones Traditional they sell these at, they sell them at Costco. What's the brand? I don't even. It's the red bag. It's the Deb like, Deb uh, dots. Uh, Dude, they sell like the thin, the thin pretzels thin covered in, in dark chocolate. No, they're they're like the traditional twist. They're shape. the twisties, but they're thin and they're covered in dark chocolate. And they sell them at Costco in the big bag. And dude, when I was fat, I would, yeah, I would house them in one sitting. That was Fat Mark loved those things. Um, don't, don't you want to bring Fat Mark back oh, every day, man? <laughs> every day, yeah. I miss him. I uh, oh, did you feel that? What? Oh bringing a fat back. I did have a hot dog this weekend. Whoa. Well, it was shopping day. <laughs> no, this was Sunday. Sorry. At the zoo. No, at Wiener Circle. You had TJ Wiener Circle had shopping day and then zoo day. Big back weekend. Back to back. Big weekend. Yes. There's still a lot of discourse about whether or not Saturday was shopping day or not. Yeah, it wasn't much of a shopping day. It was more like a couple friends go shopping and then go to a bar. I tagged along and I was like, "Oh yeah, this is totally different than what I thought it would be." Shopping day used to be. Did you did you guys get brunch? We uh, got food after. How many people went? Four. Who were the people? Me, Connor, Madeline, and Gia. Where where Greer wasn't involved? No, they watched the Rangers game at Tom's place. And stuff. Yeah, this wasn't shopping. No. Day. Yeah. We all watched UFC after together, like twenty of us. This wasn't shopping day at all. So does that mean shopping day is still on the table for this year? I guess so. Yeah. Did you shop? Oh, I bought a bunch of shit. I'll wear one of the shirts uh, tomorrow's Thursday. I'll wear one of the shirts on Friday. It's really funny. Uh, that sounds hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. You'll love hold it. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, Let me yeah. picture it. Let me picture. Imagine a shirt that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's so good. They have TJ. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is funny. <laughs> I see it now. Common W from TJ. Um, <laughs> I have an announcement. Holy fuck! What? I'm excited. Okay. We have we're welcoming a new sponsor to the show. Mm. Work ready, play ready. Perry Ellis, mm. always ready. Hell yeah, dude! Look at these. I got my Perry Ellis shorts right here. I'm gonna wear on the golf course. I got my shorts. I got my green shorts. I got. What do you got? That zip. Got, that zipper is clean. Yeah, I, that zipper polo I got, is uh, clean. Yeah. This is this is this is incredible. This is like this is this is a beach shirt. Uh this is also a beach shirt. I got I, I got, got this polos, beach shirt. Got some golf polos. Here's another beach shirt they sent me. Uh Mark, I don't think those are beach shirt. What makes that a Oh, uh, that'd be good for the beach. that's that's <laughs> this is beach. This says beach written all over it. Uh what makes what makes those beach it's, shirts? It's it's a shirt that I will wear to the beach. Ipso facto beach right, shirt. They sent Brandon a beach shirt. That white one? I need to see you in that. Oh, yeah, dude. That's a good one. I want I that one. I need you in this. You yeah. can't really see the pattern. It is a beautiful... Uh, it's yeah. like a 
like Terry knit. Yeah, yeah. It's like I Bosco I knit. Yeah, that. it's, it's <laughs> yeah. All right. huh, that is a yeah. That's a Bosco piece. Uh, work ready, play ready. Perry Ellis always ready. Perry Ellis is an iconic American fashion and lifestyle brand with global reach that includes a full range of categories spanning sportswear, fragrance, watches, footwear, and more, designed with real life in mind so it moves better, it cleans easier, it travels well, and it goes the distance. Going the distance. Mm. Going for speed. speed. She's all alone, all alone, all alone in her time of need. Mm -hmm. Perry Ellis is versatile, optimistic, fresh, effortless, and inclusive. Made for today's modern man, this versatile lifestyle collection of American sportswear marries design and performance with product attributes, including four-way stretch, resist spill, machine washable, and many more. Perry Ellis allows our guy to be ready for any situation, allows him to travel well, and guess what? Go the distance. Mm -hmm. That was a Field of Dreams reference, but it said it, it said go the distance. That's, there are a lot of Go the Distance references. Yeah, apparently. We're, we're going to sing the rest Ours? of Go the Distance in a minute. Shop now at PerryEllis.com. Shop now at PerryEllis.com. Uh, Rocky goes the distance, right? Yeah, I think yeah. he does. Hercules. Reluctantly yeah, crouched at the starting line. Mulan goes the distance, yeah. correct? Engine's oh, up, yeah, Mulan. Time. Wait, does she? Green. No, wait. she gets down to business. Oh, uh, who? I, Hercules. Yeah. Oh, he goes. Yeah, I will find my way. Cars. Milan. I can Milan gets go down the distance. Yeah, that one. Speaking of Rocky, we never we didn't talk about the Allen Iverson statue at all. Oh, uh, this is I didn't I didn't non-story. You haven't seen this? You all right, Brandon? You having a migraine over there? Reluctantly crouched at the starting line, engines thumping and pumping in time. What's next? As the green flag goes, flags go up. No, there's a line in between there. Reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They definitely maneuver and muscle for rank. No, that's later. Fuel burning fast on an empty tank. Did you see the AI statue? <laughs> the what happened? The AI statue? No, I didn't see this. Oh my god. Uh I don't I I hate to do this. I'm with Connor Griffin. If you've seen the other statues that are there, mm -hmm. It's the same size as the other statues. There's like a, a wall, not a wall of statues. There's a walkway of statues, but it is funny. The Outside the practice facility. The unfailing is very, very funny. It was also the person. Oh, it's like, it's tiny. Yeah. Small, it's small. Small statue. It's very small. Yeah. I don't know why it took him this long to get a statue. I don't know why there was like this big of a crowd and like why it was such a big deal. But yeah, I can see why people would That's think. That's not that big of a crowd. There's like 40 people there. No, but I mean, it was it was a big day in the Sixers media, huh. and they're covering it like crazy. He just kissed a statue, kissed himself. Is that is that weird or no? I think you can kiss your. statue. Why did that stand you, out to me as weird? I think you can kiss your statue. Okay, let's uh, let me see. I've ever seen anybody kiss their. Statue. Let me see how he kissed it. Let me see how he kissed it. Yeah, I don't know. That just felt weird. Like I'm not saying it's wrong. I just want to think about that it. That white talk guy it with that weird. Talk it out. What's that camera that white guy's got? That's like a 1940s camera. Head pat. All right, head pat. All right, uh, you want me to smile with it? Okay, no. What? All right, he's got, that's me. Yeah, he just kind of looks confused. He's not sure what he's got. Arms. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kiss it on the head. That's my. Uh, all right, head pat. He just doesn't know what to do. That's just, all. That's, that's all it was. Yeah. He was just confused. He's like, I, I think you guys want me to. do What do y'all want me to so do? There's I ball. It. I do think that he kissed it. The, the moment he did, he's like, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, that's cool, man. That's uh. That's cool for Allen Iverson that he has a statue now. Who other? What other statues are out there? Well, there's Barkley, there's Dr. J, there's a bunch of random people from the '80s and '90s. Why would there, why, be, random why, why there be random people? Well, well, I mean, there's a lot of them. That's, I don't know. I don't know how. That's not random. That, my, aunt Martha, earn my aunt Martha has a statue, uh, of no. course. But anyway, the, the, the Sixers media turned this it's, into a big thing, and then it expanded outside of Philly, and people were like, "What the fuck? They only gave him this tiny statue?" And it's like, "Well, no, it's random." Would be like they had a Dirk Nowitzki statue out there. Yeah. They had a. They had a. Greg Oden statue. Yeah, hey, that'd be that'd be pretty random. Who else would be random? Um, Ultimate Warrior would certainly be random. You'd have that to would think. be Neil Armstrong uh, would be random. Yeah, that would be. Uh, is there anybody else that would be random though? Uh, Britney Spears, Barbara Walters. <laughs> if, that'd be if pretty she random. Was there, that would be um, so random. Oh, Tom Hanks. That, Tom Hanks. That'd be random. He has no connection to the city of no. Philadelphia. Um, <laughs> Jackson Holiday. Hmm. That'd be random. Yeah. Do I have snot? The Epcot ball. <laughs> Statue of the Epcot ball. 
Uh, what else from the NBA? Is that it? Um, the Kings play the Pelicans now. Pelicans aren't done yet. Brandon Ingram sucks though. Apparently. Yeah. Well, that was news to me last night. I didn't realize. I kept waiting for them to say Brandon Ingram was hurt, and it turns out he's just. I mean, he was bad all game, but I if, was like, surely you're gonna have Brandon Ingram in at the down the stretch, and they said no. If Zion not, he stinks doesn't play, they're gonna lose. But if Zion plays, that motherfucker could have played the last three minutes last night. You got to think the NBA when when it came out that it was the Lakers, the Kings, the Warriors, and the Pelicans. They were really hoping they'd get the Lakers or the Warriors in that second game, yeah. If not both, yeah. And now they get neither. They get yeah. they get a do or die game between the uh, the Pelicans and the Kings. Yep. Now, but it does set up the Lakers and the Nuggets are a first round series now, so that's interesting. This also, yeah. I mean, the Nuggets own the Lakers, but it is interesting. I mean. <laughs> It's interesting. It's a, no, I agree. With, no, I, I agree with you. I have interest in it. I agree with you. I'm. I'm. I, no, I agree. They owned them this, last this year. This is a yes and. This is a yes and. We're doing yes is and. Is there a but here? No, there's. It's a yes and. It's yes. I agree with you. Okay. And also, the Nuggets own the Lakers, and this series won't be interesting at all. But that's not a yes then. That's a yes. That's I, not said, a yes. I said a yes and. You're acknowledging. I said, I said you're yes. saying yes. It's interesting. And yes. Then you're nullifying the interest. Yes. Interesting. Very interesting. LeBron James, cool. Anthony Davis, Done. Nikola Jokic. That statement's over. Yes. All right, good. And it's not going to be interesting at all. The Nuggets are way better. That's not and they an swept and. Them last year. That's a they, but. They beat them a thousand times in a row. That's not an and. That's a but. That's a but. But I said and. You can't say and. You, you meant but. <sighs> uh, tonight we have, of course, as it, as it says on the calendar, we have Sixers playing a day. Um, it's a day happy, we all look for. Happy, happy Sixers yeah. playing day to you. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> to all who celebrate, really. Uh, oof. It says here on this little uh, ESPN printout, tickets as low as forty three dollars. Oh, that's that's in something. Philly tonight. That is something. Playing the playing the defending Eastern Conference champion. Oh wow! In a do or die game. Yeah, that's that's not it's great. Forty three dollars. Oh. Well, well, the the Phillies play tonight, right? They that do. could be oh, why. Yeah, why. yeah. All the all the good fans is will it, be at the is it Red Eight yeah. Bank. It's red, it's red April. <laughs> They're just playing the Rockies, but so it, it's not red April. It's not red April, no. Well, if if, if like we're going way, Sixers, it would I like be, the way Philly uh, has all three arenas right there. It's the best. Yeah. yeah Although the Sixers cool. are going to be moving downtown, which sucks. Why? They they just decided to up and leave. They Who's got left. the best? That's a good. <laughs> they left to go to downtown <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> they yeah to leave we're the sports we're complex. Where are you going, Philly? <laughs> they, they they left this. Or they're going to leave the sports complex, which sucks. They're following like the Brooklyn Nets model. Right? Yeah. Um, they right they're going middle. to Brooklyn. No, no, just demolish a bunch of buildings so you can build it right in the middle of your city. So who's got the best? Uh, who's got the best setup? What city has the best setup of all that? Because Can- Kansas City also has theirs right next to. I each think other. right now it's Philly. They got all three. Philly's got theirs right next to. Oh, each other. actually, all four. Um, Cleveland has theirs right next to each other. I know. Do they? I don't. I no, don't. but the Browns is actually a little. But the uh, I'm thinking of like the. When the Cavs and the what are they called? Oh, now? when they do the overhead yeah. shot, Jacob Field. Yeah, and they the got like the, the progressive, crowds, whatever it is. Now. Crowds going to both. That's cool. But then the Browns play by the lake. Um, yeah, who's got? But the, the Philly has three of them right next to each other. We have the Link, Citizens Bank Park, and Wells Fargo Center. All the banks. same parking lot. The banks. Yeah. Yeah, the banks. All the banks. Oh, did I ask this? Big banks. Did, did I ask this question on the show? What is the most in in U.S. stadium names right now? What's the most used word? Not stadium or arena or coliseum. What's the most Center? used word? It. I was gonna say uh, no. I meant uh, like, like cre- is it credit? Is it bank? Oh, field. No insurance. Um, it could be insurance. Airlines. I feel yeah. like there's a lot of credit stadiums, a lot of bank stadiums. I bet it's bank. Yeah. There's U.S. Bank Stadium. There's M and T Bank Stadium. Mm-hmm. There's Citizens Bank. Citizens wanna, Bank. Should we do? Should we do a sporkle? Name all stadium? The oh, fuck. You think we can name the stadium? You want to preview all the sports at once? I think we could We could, We could. could preview the stadiums. We're going to need a stadium, Sparkle TJ. All of them? How good are we going to do? All of them? How good are we going to do? We're not going to get any. I don't any. know. Because they change them so much. I'll, I'll remember. Well, I'll, we'll get some NHL. Okay. We're going to do all of them? Yeah, we're going to fucking do all of them. All right. Fuck it. All right, all right, all right. You ready? Uh, United Center. Good, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Show me United Center. He's not typing. Okay. 
Madison Square Garden. Good one. Yeah. Um, Wrigley Field. I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm on fire right now. Barclays Center. I'm I'm going after. Her. Uh, fuck, dude. I that's all I had. <laughs> um, I got one. Lucas Oil Stadium. Yes. Why is that your next? Because it's an Indianapolis thing. Ah, uh, that's right. That's right. Um, UBS Arena. Nice answer, Brandon. I'm just on. I'm in New York. Uh, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. That's no, no. Fuck. That's not. <laughs> is it Progressive Field? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that where it is now? I thought the Fever played at the uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. <laughs> I thought they threw a court down right there. In the... You prefer a conservative field, correct, Brandon? <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Uh, Chase Bank Stadium? Chase Bank? Chase sure. Field. Chase, Chase Field. Chase, Chase Field. Chase Field. Chase Field. Chase Field. Chase yeah, Field. Chase Field. It's Chase Field. Chase Field. Chase Field. He's right. It's Chase Field. Chase Field. All right. All right. All right. Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta is like truest. Truest? Truest. Truest. Truest Park? Yeah. Truest. You have to do part. That's that's tough. Baltimore is this, that's tough. Is it Oriole Park, Park at Camden Yards, or did y'all yeah, name it's it? Still Camden Yards, <sighs> but it's Oriole Park yeah, at Camden Yards. You used to okay. Uh, Boston's Fenway Park. Fenway. Never been. Uh, White Sox is no, no, no. What uh, are they cellular, guaranteed cellular, rate. cellular rate. Guaranteed rate. Cell, guaranteed rate. Cellular, cellular guaranteed. Okay, walk guaranteed. Me how to spell guaranteed? It's one of my worst. G U guaranteed. A R A N T E D. Rate. 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 Field? Yeah, okay. Uh, was it Great American, Great American Ballpark? Ballpark. What, what was it now? It worked. It still works. It, it, it is. Uh, Coors. Okay. Uh, oh, Comerica. Okay. Uh, it was Minute Maid. It was Enron. Then it was Minute Maid. Minute Maid. Minute Maid Park. Minute Maid okay, Park. all right. All right uh, Kaufman? Uh, Kaufman? Kaufman. Kaufman. Yeah. Stadium. All right, uh, Angels. Uh, oh, the the, the Angel Stadium, the Big A. I, I Is think it, it might Angel be Stadium? Angel Stadium. Yeah. Oh God. Oh no. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh no. All right, pass. Dodger Stadium. Oh no. Um, oh Miami, dear. Miami. Huh. Petco. Um, That's San Diego. Yeah. Petco. Oh no. All right, PNC Park. Oh no. <laughs> We're skipping down PNC Park. Does this help or make it worse? Me just saying, oh no, over. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh Milwaukee, oh. I've been to that. That's not. It used to be Miller Park, but now it's. You do Miller Park, maybe it takes it, but it's like American, American something. American yeah. Life. Uh, it's like uh, American, American Life Insurance. Oh, American Family. Fam- no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, Try, it's Park. Like, I think it might be Park. American oh. Family Park. Uh, Yankee, yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, Oakland Coliseum. Target Field? Target Field? Target. Yeah. Oakland. Is it Oakland Coliseum? I think it's the O.co. Coliseum. Yeah. O.co? It was the Oakland Alameda that you spelled Coliseum wrong. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's not. Uh, no, you, you, try, chose try, the, you chose the wrong try. correction. Just do really? Yes. Yeah, it's with an I. Coliseum. <laughs> what word is that? This one? Yeah. Nope. That's just wrong. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, is it still Safeco in, in Seattle? Or they changed oh, that one. That's I not right. I think it's T-Mobile. Yeah. Uh, T-Mobile Park. Okay. Is St. Louis Bush? <laughs> 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 you already got T-Mobile. Arena. Uh, Bush. Bush. Well, let's see. Yeah. Stadium. 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 <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Tropicana Field. Tropicana, good one, Brandon. Worst park in the country. Uh huh. Field. 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 Yeah. Uh, Globe Life. Globe Life. What's the fucking Sky Dome name now? Uh, Roger Center or it, it used to be yeah, Roger Center. Silver. Roger Center. Uh, that sounds right. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh, I've been to the Washington. What's the Giants? It's That's AT and T. That's AT and T Park. AT and T, the Giants. AT and T Park, right? That one's changed the most of any stadium. It might not be uh, AT and T State Field. No. Oh, that. What, uh, no, oh shit! We got football to go. Oh, oh, oh! Oracle, 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 Oracle. Oracle, Oracle. I thought that's where the fucking uh, Oracle Arena. Oh, or, or that's where the Warriors play, right? Or it used to be. Uh, and that might not be. They, All right. They open a new stadium. Chase. Yeah, they're, they're Chase. Chase. The Warriors are Chase. All right, the Anaheim Ducks play in the Honda Center because I got cheated on that in the dozen one time. 
Um, <laughs> are we done with baseball? Philly is. Uh, we don't. That's yeah. I don't even know. It's it's no a bank. No. Citizens Bank it's, Park. It's just the bank, right? The bank. Try the bank. Put Red October. Oh! Oh! Wow! wow. <laughs> 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 Okay. There's a lot of them. All right, try the credit union. Yeah, try, try <laughs> the credit union. Try the stadium. Hey, man, we got to get tickets to go down to the credit union. <laughs> uh, the stadium. Uh, 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 Boston plays in the uh, – what What are the Celtics playing? TD T- Garden? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're thinking of the Saddle Dome in Calgary, <laughs> I believe. All right. Uh, throw, throw the Saddle Dome up there. State Farm Saddle Arena. Dome. Saddle like ride? Saddle. Yeah. yeah. Saddle Dome. The Saddle Dome. It all might one be word. one it all, word. It might all be one word. The Saddle. That's cool. Saddle Dome. Nope. No, that's definitely not where they play. Um, State Farm Arena is. Prudential. Uh, the Prudential Center. This is stupid. No, it's not. This is great. It's a, it's a great ad. No, anytime I get. If I get a couple wrong in a row, I just decide. <laughs> get to stupid. Where do the Saddle Dome not being on there? Jackets, stupid. The Columbus. Uh, nationwide. Is on nationwide your right. side. Nationwide Arena. Where do the Sixers play? Los Fargo Center. What well, you ain't got to get sassy about it. Well, it used to be Wachovia Center, correct? Yes, it was. Um. Okay. All right. Crypto dot com. All their assets failed. He's right. Crypto dot com Arena. I've been there. Uh huh. Uh. uh-huh. Oh, the FedEx Forum, Memphis. Hmm. What else? American Pfizer. Airlines. Heinz Field. Pfizer Arena. I think it's Forum. Yeah. Uh, for, yeah. Yeah. Forum. It's Forum. Yeah. Heinz Field is also no longer a thing. Acrosure. Yeah. Acrosure, which sucks. Are you? Oh, no, it's stadium. stadium. Stadium or field? Oh, it might yeah, be field. Yeah, yeah. You know that there was a moment in time where the Bills almost played in Barcelona Sports Stadium. Bullshit. I feel like the Same. Packers should be easy. Target Arena is Minnesota, right? Land. The Packers still Lambo. Yeah. <laughs> is they did they move? Oh, oh Soldier Target, Field. Target, uh, Target Stadium, right? Target Arena. We already did Target Field, idiot. Um, Target Forum. I don't know. Do a uh, American Airlines Arena. I feel like that was that's Miami. That was Dallas for a second. Yeah, he's right. That might be like all of them. That might be the rest. <laughs> what? Oh. That's none of them? It's Amway? Oh, no. Isn't Miami something crypto now, too? I don't know. What? Yeah, Coinbase or something? Somebody give me Soldier Field. Uh, are, we still, are we still live? <laughs> are we still live? I don't know. Okay. Bell Center? Or uh, no. Uh, yes. What about... What about Bridgestone? Is is Nashville Brid- Bridgeport Bridgestone? Bridge Bridgestone Arena? Yeah, good one, right. Brandon. Uh, What's the Mullet Center? How did it's Mullet spelled weird, right? What about? Have you tried Saddle Dome for Calgary? <laughs> 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 Try Saddle Dome. I don't know. All the Canadian hockey teams play in a. a they have the same sponsor. I don't they, know what it is. Coyotes play at Arizona State. They play in the Mullet something. Mullet Arena. I don't think they play there anymore. They play there currently. Yeah, because Ice Con. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. I thought they built. Uh, Isn't uh, New Orleans a Smoothie King? Yeah. Smoothie yes. King, yeah. It's yeah. Smoothie uh, King and uh, Caesars Superdome. Uh-huh. The Superdome. Oh. Smoothie King Arena. Okay, there we go. Smoothie okay. King Center. Okay. Uh, King, uh, did we do Superdome? Superdome. Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Or Mercedes Benz. What's the one in Atlanta? Yeah. George Dome. Yeah. yeah, no, it's yeah. that's Mercedes Benz. George Dome's been torn down. Uh, stadium. Mercedes Benz Stadium. Yeah, right. uh, Over halfway there. Uh, we were just in Arizona. We All right, State Farm State Stadium. State Farm Stadium. State State Farm stadium. State Denver Farm stadium. used to be Mile High. Then it was in Vesco. What is it now? Denver. Uh, Mile High is, in Vesco. It is. It is. Yeah. It's. It's that. It's, it's one of those deals. It's in Vesco Field at Mile High Stadium or something. What is Minnesota? M M. No. What is Baltimore? M M T. We got it already. M T Bank. We got that one. How that came up with the bank. Uh, yeah. Do do a uh, Invesco Field, or and if that doesn't work, try Mile High Stadium. Nice. That seemed to have worked. What is San Francisco? Wait, wait, wait. But where it did didn't it go? go where? Where, didn't where did go? it go? Where did it go? Where the fuck did it go? What happened? Went down here somewhere. Denver Invesco Field at Mile. Well, why did it count for Denver? Go to g- <laughs> what? Are they saying that's what it was previously named? Now it's Empower Field at Mile High. Detroit. That's what is that's, uh, Kansas City? 
Uh, Arrowhead. Uh, Arrowhead Stadium. Yeah. Detroit's Ford Field. Geha Field. Okay. <laughs> Geha. <laughs> <laughs> do Ford Field. Do Houston is uh Oh Vegas is uh NRG. Fucking Vegas is fucking uh the fucking uh Allegiant. Allegiant <laughs> Airlines. The, air, the airline Allegiant, Allegiant Stadium. Allegiant. Have you ever flown Allegiant? No. I I don't know anyone that has. Uh Miami is Hard Rock. Uh, yeah. Hard Rock. I like this one a lot. The link for the ability is the link, right? Lincoln Financial. Lincoln Financial. Link. Let's two T's. Do uh what the, fuck what, what the fuck was that? Uh, Seattle's the fucking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brandon, think about um, like <laughs> WrestleMania location. I know, uh, but there was Safeco back when what, HP Field is, is one. Right? Ray, Raymond James yeah. Stadium. Yeah. Raymond yeah. James. <laughs> That's a bang. <laughs> I'll just say it like that. LeBron, yeah. I don't know, because I'm not helping, but I'm trying to make it seem like I'm helping. I'm trying to – this is how you stay active, but I'll also – FedEx Field. What is the, the – Is Cleveland Progressive? Fed, FedEx Field. FedEx Field. Fucking – No, that was – Uh, Nissan Stadium? Yeah. Who's that? For Tennessee? Nice. Yeah. I think New Era. What's Seattle? It's something it, – they changed it. Just like, changed it. No, CenturyLink, Maybe? I don't know who who is for, but I like that answer. Well, I, or, um, <laughs> it sounds yeah. sounds stadiumish. Yeah. Fuck. No, it's some tech what company or something. Where do the Angels Change, play? Like last year. Boeing? Did Boeing? <laughs> Shit, Lockheed Martin Stadium. Cleveland? What is How Cleveland? Does Black Rock not have a stadium. Cleveland is, is, is it just Brown Stadium? <laughs> no. Oh. The pound. The dog, the dog pound. pound. Fucking uh, that should count. God, where do the goddamn Edmonton uh, Oilers play? Fucking um, <laughs> I think Dude. I think Miami Miami Heat is also crypto dot com. Is it AA dot com? Crypto Center. Uh, Isn't the Miami Heat gonna be? I well, I, I see one that I definitely know. Calgary is the saddle. <laughs> saddle down, right? So go ahead, throw that up there. We can keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> it throw Van Gundy up there. Throw Van Gundy up there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, quick and loans arena. Yeah, we got to We got to get serious about the NBA right now. Uh, yeah, everybody, chill. Ball Did arena. they change that too? Dude, Rock ball, and, it's Rocket Mortgage. It's Rocket Mortgage. Rocket Rock Mortgage. Rocket Mortgage. Mortgage. It's still they still call it the Q. Do uh, do Ball Arena. It's that's how ball is done. There's at, at Ball a, Arena. Oh my god. Oh, this is oh brutal. Rocket Mortgage Center. Everybody, focus the fuck up. All right. In, Rocket, Rocket. Indianapolis. What's in Indianapolis? Uh, f- can, it used to be Conseco. It's now Banker's Life. No, it's uh, it's Banker's Life. Isn't it's, it? Is it Banker's? Is Market Banker's Square Life? Arena. Banker's Life. Banker's gonna, Life like, Field House. Field House. I'm gonna name what they were in the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I think we'd be good at this if it was in 1994. <laughs> All right. Houston is a compact. Oh, oh Little Caesar. Little Caesar's Banker's, is uh, dude, Detroit. What's the Field House? Invesco Field House. Fucking uh. What did we get for Invesco? That was the Denver thing. Crypto.com uh, Fieldhouse. Ah! <laughs> this sucks, dude. <laughs> this sucks. We gotta get to, okay. I'm not having fun. <laughs> All right. Okay. Can we can we try Amway Arena? Did you do Ball That's Arena? That's Orlando. Ball Arena. Do Ball. Ball. Ball Arena. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's two. Oh, that's yeah. two. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I hate this. Just. Arena? I did Arena. You just said Arena. <laughs> you did Arena? Try arena. <laughs> throw, throw, throw arena up there. We still have. Wait, what's San Antonio? That they play. Oh, they we still have forty-one to go. <laughs> this is bad. This is so a bad hard. showing. <laughs> did we do uh, in baseball? Did we do Comerica Park? I can't see. We did. Yeah. Uh, beam, San, uh, Sacramento. Beam. Light the beam. Yeah. Beam arena. They still do that. Uh. God, this is so bad. Give up. Give up. Do, what? Do, we give up. 83 out of 124. What is Indy? What is Indy? That's your city. What is Indy? It's It was Conseco Fieldhouse. It was Banker's Life Fieldhouse. Oh, what about, do you not know Calgary? Oh, it's a fucking saddle dome, dude. It looks like a saddle. It's a saddle dome. Spell it right, though. Uh, <laughs> D-O-A. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I might want to give up. I've, I'm past giving up. I think I might want to give up. We'll give up. Uh, Blake Griffin retired. 
Oh, well, I want to see the give up. American Airlines Center, dude. That's what I said. The Scotia Saddle Bank Dome. Saddle Dome. Saddle Dome. It was right there. <laughs> Should have taken Saddle Dome. Saddle Dome. <laughs> Calgary Saddle Dome. American Airlines Center. We. <sighs> this is corporations in this country need to. You know what corporations need to do, Brandon? Yeah. What? No, stand down. It is stand, just Cleveland. just kind of stand down a little it bit. It is Cleveland Brown like, Stadium. We said Brown Stadium. This is that should have taken. This is under protest. Yeah. This is under protest. But like these unknown these, user. Fuck you. <laughs> these made it twenty minutes ago. <laughs> What? Wait, what? He saw the show coming. <laughs> He's like, they're live. Let me, <laughs> let me throw this up. What? <laughs> these uh, these corporations. We got. Just, they need to stand down. I mean, it, the Saddle Dome. Guys, not, we got eighty three of them. Saddle Dome not counting though is ridiculous. O- Crap. Oakland Alameda. <laughs> <laughs> get to the bench. Walk it out. Walk it out. Stretch out the muscle. You want the muscle straight, not bent. Even if it hurts. Give us a Zion walk. Give us a Zion walk around the room. Eat a chicken sandwich. That'll help. Oh, what else we got? Uh, Red Wings tie game with three seconds left to force OT. Did you see the hockey yesterday? No. The hockey was crazy. (laughs) Okay. In Detroit, not in Detroit, wherever they were. They were where, where, did they, where did they show the hockey? Where do I see the hockey now? Uh, I'm ready for the ESPN, hockey. It was on ESPN last night and TNT uh, some nights, yeah. But anyway, in Detroit, Detroit had to win in regulation. No, they had to lose in regulation for Philly to get in. Philly had to win in regulation. Okay. If Washington beats Philly, they're in. Okay. If Philly beats Washington, they need Detroit to lose in regulation. Okay. Okay. Got it. They're happening at the same time. Detroit's down a goal. In Montreal, Philly is tied with what's her name? Philly's tied with Washington. Okay, Detroit scores a goal with two point three seconds left, forces overtime. Detroit making overtime eliminates Philly. At the same time, in Philly, Philly in a tie game pulls their goalie. Uh huh. You got it. Pulls their goalie in a tie game. Washington scores. Philly then eliminates Detroit. In seconds. Did that make sense? Okay, let me start over. So, so hockey? I guess what I'm trying to say, if you cut through all the red tape and all the bullshit, hockey. They were hockeying. They hockeyed. They hockeyed this a was, lot. This was the end of the regular season. They were, it was, yeah, yeah. Well, tonight's the end of the regular season. Okay. But that was the last game for all those teams. Okay. I think somebody plays tonight. They were all playing at the same time. Yes. And they all had weaving intricate layers of playoff implications, and they fucked each other at the exact same moment. Now that's something I would have liked to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the <laughs> the Flyers and the Red Wings <laughs> fucked each other. Now you have my attention. <laughs> different cities at the same at the same damn time. Now you have my attention. Uh, Wait, the tire in the in the wheelbarrow? The huh? Huh? The Flyers? Like the thing you pull? The radio flyer? The what? Yeah. The wagon? Is, huh? that what named, is that what they're named after? I, what are they named after? A sled? Yeah, no one's flying out there. Is a flyer a sled? No. Why? At some point during the show, you put your laptop down and just use your phone to go. Because my computer died. I see. <laughs> I see. Radio flyer, Chicago. Hmm. Should we go? To what? <laughs> Should we go? <laughs> so, to to factory, fucking what? A toy factory? <laughs> I don't know. Are people still buying radio Should flyers? Should we go? What else do they make? <laughs> yeah, they just made a plastic. He just now. sees the word Chicago and he's like, we should go. Oh, right. <laughs> Look at they make bounce houses now? Uh, Design your own? See, we could do that. Yo. Oh. Build a wagon? Dude. Let's get them to make us a, a wagon that all of us can fit. <laughs> that, that's yeah. a car. Who's that's just pull a car. that wagon? That's just a real Probably. car. <laughs> <laughs> Probably an elephant. Yeah. Oh, if we, we had an elephant to pull a wagon, it. would you trust an elephant to pull the wagon? Yeah, did I trust an elephant to do anything? <laughs> yeah. Anything? Titus, do you uh I've been holding on to some bad news that I need to tell you. I, I don't I didn't know how to bring it up. Are you ready for some bad news? You're gonna do this? <laughs> Yikes. Are you prepared for some bad news? Yeah. Dude. They have go karts. I didn't want to ruin your vacation, so yeah. can I do it now? Oh Jay's dead. <sighs> go ahead. Just do it. The number one ranked Ohio State dodgeball team lost in the championship this this past weekend. Tough. To back to back champ Michigan State. Tough scenes. Does yep. Does 
Does God hate Ohio State dodgeball? Because I'm starting to think, Brandon. I'm starting to think it's we we might be the most tortured fan base in sports. We might be the most tortured fan base in sports. Ohio State dodgeball. It's been a long drought. I haven't had anywhere to put this. I saw a uh, a professional women's soccer team in the hotel in Philly, and they were all hot as fuck. <laughs> That's a good that's a good ad. They that's were, a good good were, ad to the show. They were there for they were there for one it's of their a good addition. one of their teammates' weddings. <laughs> and th- these motherfuckers were all smoking hot. You know what team it was? No. Was it the Gotham? I don't know. But goddamn. Anyway, that's my response to your question. <laughs> did you guys talk about the WNBA draft? We did. A yeah. lot. Yeah. That's awesome. A, a lot. It's a stretch. Yeah. I'm going to be the biggest Chicago Sky fan in the country. Yo, look at that thing. You probably already are, just by saying that <laughs> sentence. Maybe. Uh, Blake Griffin retired. Shout out Blake Griffin. I I don't know how to say what I, I – I don't know how to say this without sounding like an asshole. But I thought in the first three years of his career, he was going to be just an all-time, all-time, all-time great. Now, he had a very good, long, productive career, right? So there's nothing ashamed of that, but but those first three years of Lob City, goddamn. I think he has a problem of his reputation as uh, something special overshadows his reputation as just the basketball player to where we might misremember him as only being just an insane dunker. Yeah, you know what I mean. That being said, so I think I think he was such a good in-game dunker. Yeah. That he got he got stamped with like a dude that guy's one of the best in game dunkers dunker. of all time, yeah. but that actually worked against him because now you just think of him as the guy who just caught lobs all the time and wasn't actually that good of a basketball player, which is not true. He was a good basketball. He was a good player. basketball. And and if you if you have time today on this sad day, if you ever just really watch a two minute highlight of him dunking, it's really fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. I. It's and really unfortunately we'll not have time for that. So <laughs> Oh yeah, welcome back to work. We gotta do a film festival today. <laughs> You're not leaving until like midnight. <laughs> we're doing the, we're trying to put our film together and I'm over there trying to watch a Blake Griffin two minute <laughs> highlight. I'm like, God <laughs> fucking damn it, I never have time for this shit. Never have time for it. Uh, I gotta finish. I gotta go do the fucking rundown. <laughs> I gotta do the rundown. They, they con oh, me into the rundown. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. We, we did a little. We went show. way that's over. What, that's yeah. what happens when you spend twenty five minutes trying to name <laughs> name stadiums. You should have said Saddle Dome. <laughs> Why didn't you say Saddle? Dome? <laughs> I said Saddle Dome. I said Saddle. I don't. Did, if you go back, hold raise on. Raise your hand hold if on. you heard him hold say on. Saddle Dome. I heard Saddle Dome. No, so I heard Saddle I, Dome as well. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I heard Saddle Down. Oh. Did you say? I said Connor. Saddle Dome. Did he say Saddle Dome? Connor. I one one thing before we you go. You about to offer us chair, your chair? <laughs> one thing before we go, because uh, I wasn't here when OJ died. Um, do you think OJ killed Nicole Brown Simpson and <laughs> Ron Goldman? Do you think it's actually? I've never looked into that story. I've never had an opinion on it. Oh, I need to. At, we're going to need you to look into Connor, it. Give us your verdict. I need the next twenty four <laughs> hours. I'm going to be working the film festival. You, I'm on your team. I'm on. The, <laughs> I, I got you. I, I got you. Exempt. This is this is the new film. Right. The, the film is that should be the film. Yeah, it's just a documentary of Connor watching up on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched any of the documentaries. I've never read any of the, Let the me court hearing. Some time. Just say yes. Just say yes. Maybe. Butterfly. Unless no, you're... just say yes. Okay. No spoilers, by the way, guys. No, no spoilers. spoilers. Don't spoil it for me. If somebody ever asked, did OJ kill those two people? You just go ahead and say yes. Okay. Yeah. One of the biggest but, butterfly effects in history. But if you say yes, oh. you're undermining the legal system we have in this country. So that's what makes it a little dicey. That, that's why I got to do my research. So I'll I'll do it this you weekend. Hardly had time to do research into the OJ murders. I just it never like appealed to me. I don't know. But now I will look into it. <laughs> we need to do dominoes on Friday too. Oh, uh, we got to do dominoes. What's dominoes? Um, we talked about sports dominoes the other day. Like one decision that led to a whole bunch of things, and I. I gave them the assignment to bring your biggest sports dominoes, and they we're doing that on Friday, uh, or Thursday. Should, I don't know why I skipped Thursday. Should well, we play? Should we? Can we play dominoes? That's, that's we how, have dominoes. That's how we got there? here. Wait, yeah. do you know how to play dominoes? Dominoes. Yeah. Okay. There. You remember how to play dominoes? Play? I don't. I don't. Okay. You have to Whoa, teach. Whoa. Domino. Domino. Domino's day as a whole. Whoa. 
like get a bunch of different domino related stuff. That could domino. play. Domino's, Domino's Day? Day. Friday, Domino's Day? We, do Domino's we also have to do Final Four Friday. We, we abandoned. Well, we could uh, make it a pizza party day and maybe work in a sponsorship or something. Domino's. Yeah. That's, yeah. Order Domino's. I have a Domino's jacket I've been meaning to wear. Really? We should do, check the sponsorships, make sure we don't have any other pizza sponsors right now. Well. Because uh, I'm not wearing it. Anything, anything else? All right, go do the rundown. Yep. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. That's how ball is done.